right guys everybody relax I'm here this is a long plane review for big trouble in little China on the Amstrad CPC released on the Electric Dreams subsidiary of Activision in 1986 now this is a movie license based on the John Carpenter film released in the same year which unfortunately wasn't a great critical or box office success but has since become an extremely popular and quotable cult classic with a massive following. Indeed this is probably in my top 10 films of all time, I absolutely loved it as a kid. And uh, this game was also re-released on the alternative budget label as well there. And. Um, the movie was also clearly an inspiration to Mortal Kombat, especially with the Raiden character. Anyway, let's get this uh, started off. Loading screen there, cut with some credits. Talk more on that in a bit. Another loading screen. And. Oh my god, what is this? Well. This sounds very much like specky um, beeper music. And guys, oh my eardrums! I uh, um 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 uh, um uh like, why would you emulate the specky like buzzer music or whatever on the Amstrad? Okay, this is clearly going to be a specky port. Uh, I know it is. Most of you probably know it already. Um, but. Why would you go to the trouble of emulating the specky beeper music? I, I don't get it. Can, is it emulated? Can someone who knows their ins and outs of programming tell me in the comments on the video? I don't get it, but... Oh my god, okay enough of that. Let's start the game off. And um... <laughs> right, we've got a scrolling right to left uh, beat em up here. And it's clearly a specky port. Oh dear. As old Jack says, what the hell? Let's get on with this. Um, yeah, okay. Well, now, f um, where do we start with this one? Um, okay, so the novel twist to this game is, and I don't think I've ever seen this in another scrolling beat em up since. Is that as you can see there guys we've got three playable characters and you can switch between them and each of them have their own different sort of strengths and weaknesses and there's power-ups later on um, for each of the characters too which we'll talk about in a little bit so you can switch between them at any point and at the moment I'm using the uh, character of Jack Burton the hero of the movie I suppose the dumbass American hero um, and he's going to be my primary character because his fists seem to work a lot better uh, than the flying kicks of uh, Wang and, and Egg Shen's magic seems a bit crap. We'll talk about the characters in a little bit. Um, I suppose we ought to go let you guys know what the story is if you've never seen the movie. So um, if you're not aware of the story then, David Lopan is the villain a centuries-old Chinese sorcerer trapped in a crippled old man's body, a curse put on him by Xing Dai, a Chinese god. And the only way to lift the curse is to marry, then kill, a girl with green eyes. And it just so happens that our heroes here, Jack Burton and Wang Shi, their girlfriends both have green eyes. And they've been kidnapped for this very purpose. So off we go with magician Egg Shen helping. He's a guy floating on a cloud, weirdly, which he doesn't do in the movie, but anyway, we'll ignore that. And off we go to defeat Lopan and rescue the girls. Ah, uh, oh god, there's a gunman here, we'll talk more about him in a minute. It's the most difficult character so far. Uh, so, we're playing as Jack Burton here, uh, played by Kurt Russell in the movie. And... Uh, there we go, he just picked up his, his his special attack or weapon, which is apparently according to the manual a Bushmaster gun, but actually that's incorrect. If we've been really nerdy, the gun he uses in the movie is a Intratech Tech 9, but anyway. And they these oh there's some food there to restore energy. Energy is re represented by the um yin yang signs next to the characters and there, all the characters' energy will slowly drop throughout the game as well. So you can't just play as one character and keep replenishing his health. All the characters' health will start dropping over time, 
and you need to switch between them pick up health for that character um, so yeah Jack Burton has the gun uh, Wang Shi um, the guy in the middle of the uh, user interface at the bottom there he gets a sword and Egg Shen at the back there um, the manual is actually incorrect it, t it tells you to collect potion bottles for his attack actually no potion bottles is something completely different um, it's actually the bags or magic bags that you need to collect for Egg Shen um, called in the movie the six demon bag wind fire and all that kind of thing um, there are also potion bottles to collect and this will give your character um, sort of extra strength or whatever or courage like it was in the movie and uh, they will disappear later on um, more rapidly especially as Jack Burton when you get into the final sort of level and section his courage bottle doesn't last that long because he's kind of a bit of a cowardly American hero a blowhard uh, oh there's the sword there we go so we change to Wang Shi pick up the sword and you can press enter to change between the characters or you can press B for Jack Burton B for Burton Wang Shi is C C for Shi and Egg Shen is S on the keyboard for S for Shen why they didn't use the first letters of their names it'd be a lot easier to remember J, uh, you know J for Jack W for Wang and E for Egg I don't know uh, I always get confused but you can also hit the enter or return key um, to sort of s switch between them rather than select a specific character and as we move there we go we'll now hit level two here uh, this is gonna take crackerjack timing Wang um, as we pr progress into the um, oh, Wing Kong exchange I think it's called in the movie this is where uh, we're at, we're at the start of the villain's layer, basically, guys, in simple terms. And we're going to get monsters appearing out of... There we go. Although this was in the sewers in the movie. But uh, anyway, so what we're waiting for here, guys, is for this idiot to move into his... Oh, I got caught by the monster. I'll talk more on that in a little bit. Um... Okay, let's just see what happens here quickly. Yeah, look, there's a monster there. So we're waiting for the, this guy we're going to fight to come closer to us because we don't want to fight him right there because we're going to get eaten by the monster. And if we fight him just here, I made a mistake, I'll learn it later, that when you defeat him, watch what happens. All your characters jump forward. So that, so Jack might have jumped into the path of that monster there. So you need to be really far back away from the um, where those guys, those monsters appear. Jack might, might as well use those guns on the gunner on the gunners there oh there's the um, <laughs> Dean bag so we had to be as egg Shen there to pick it up and there's a potion bottle to give our current character extra strength and courage okay um right so let's um, oh yeah I'm just waiting for this guy to jump away from where the monsters appearing because we can't fight him there Again, come on, wait for him to jump back further here. The longer we take, more the energy drains down, which is really annoying. And Jack Burton, actually, at that distance, I'm getting kicked and hurt. But if you actually, if I was actually a step closer, all that character's punches, kicks, and other characters' sword attacks doesn't hit Jack, but his fists will hit him. So I tend to use Jack Burton solely throughout the game. Could have been a little closer there, maybe. It's really hard to jump over the bullets of those guys so what I do is abuse the scrolling here by shooting a bullet then moving on if I can time it just right he will jump into it because when you fire your gun he immediately jumps anyway so that's why I'm moving back and forth little tips there um, so let's talk about the game very quickly then. Um, graphics, it, well, uh, first of all, guys, this is obviously a specy port, uh, kind of a poor specy port, really. Um, the graphics are, are near enough mon. Oh god, tough section. Oh, that was lucky. The graphics are near enough monochrome. Oh, food there to restore our energy, but it only restores one character's energy. So we're going to have to switch between characters at some point to get their energy up. Um, Poor graphics. I mean, there. I mean, it's it's detailed. It actually kind of looks a bit like Jack Burton. 
the other two not really um, and the colors sort of change uh, to indicate moving to a different level and further closer to low pang or whatever um, sound effects are very very limited basically two sound effects which are a bit crap um, the music was absolutely dreadful on the title screen no music in game we're gonna have to wait for this guy because of the monster um, in fact I can't be asked waiting oh no look what happens there if you you always jump forward when you defeat a bad guy so that, watch out for that you need to be really far back from, ah! from where the monsters appear Right, there we go. Um, the scrolling isn't particularly good. It's not a very good frame rate. And uh, the game is pretty tedious. <clears throat> if, to be fair to that, it seems... It, I appreciate the, the game a lot more now. I've played it all the way through and uh, got to the end and completed it. Um, Initially, I played it for maybe the first time I got this game. I maybe played it for a few minutes and just gave up with it. I thought it was utter trash. Um, it's perhaps not as bad as I initially thought, but it's still pretty tedious stuff. It's a game of um, managing your character's energy, resources, magic, weapons, and potions and stuff like that. Uh, but it kind of fails in that task. Oh, the bullets glitch there. Um, and if, oh, here actually guys, yeah, an enemy will eventually just jump away and you can move on, but you actually lose some score there. Hmm. So it's all about managing your character's uh, different energy levels and stuff like that. So we're going to have to switch to uh, Wang or Egg Shen at some point because, um, for example, we need to get that energy up soon. Um, but the um, the food pickup will only appear if the character you're on energy level is on like basically one yin yang symbol. Um, so at the moment, no food pickups will appear at all. So whereas Jack Burton and his yin yangs are at two and a bit there, so he's, the game sees his energy level as fine. The game will spawn items basically when you're low on energy as a character, or if Jack Burton's gun has run out of bullets and disappeared then if you're playing as Jack Burton you'll soon get a uh, gun pickup appear so you have to switch between the characters and that's how you beat the game we'll come we'll come into the uh, ending soon anyway the last level and you'll see what I mean um, <clears throat> so who actually made this then well apparently the game was designed by Focus who is basically Sal Marchese and he also did the graphics with coding music and sound effects handled by MD Software which is basically Melvet Dink. Uh, so Saul, the graphics guy, has done some great graphics work in his career, such as Aliens, Afterburner, Ghostbusters 2 and Galaxy Force, but this isn't one of his best. As for Melvet, well, his CV is full of mostly poor to average specky ports to the CPC, such as Enduro Racer, Hammer Fist, Nightmare, ugh, Last Ninja 2 and Super Hang On. And he often... Uh, <laughs> often just ported the specky music and emulated it as we heard on the title screen there very strange um, so there we go um, now Activision and Electric Dreams had a lot of film licenses between 1986 and 1989 oh just moved on to the third section here change of colors um, most of their film licenses, film licenses were either great e.g. like both Ghostbusters and Aliens games or range into poor, such as How the Duck and Back to the Future Part One. Sadly, this game falls into the latter character uh, category. Sorry. Uh, um, Amstrad Action Magazine, in terms of review scores, gave this 64% overall in issue 21, which is June 1987 issue. And, but they were generally not too critical of it, strangely, just that it was kind of boring and tedious eventually. Uh, so there we go. Um, other versions of the game, well, the Speccy, uh, the CPC got pretty much a straight port of the Speccy version, but the Speccy version has a couple of extra colours available to use and moves a little faster and smoother. Um, Actually though, on the full playthrough I watched of this on YouTube for the Specky version, strangely it's missing the enemies with the machine guns shooting us, like that one. Um, so that's missing on the Specky one. Um, Commodore 64 plays pretty much identically 
uh, but with more colours and uh, looks the nicest. It has no music at all, not even on the title screen, and um, barely any sound effects. Um, but the sound effects are still better than the Specky, than the uh, Commodore, uh, sorry, than the uh, Specky and Amstrad sound effects. And because the C64 looks and, and sounds the nicest, uh, that is probably the best version to play out of the three. And uh, this didn't appear on the Atari ST or Amiga or anything like that. This is 1986. So yeah, guys, mostly stick with Jack Burton here uh, and use his punches up close. What we're trying to do is get um, Egg Shen's health restored. So we're going to be switching to Egg Shen here and trying to get the game to spawn in some food for him to pick up. Unfortunately, he's not at the moment, so I'll switch back to Jack Burton to fight this guy because he has the most health. So it's all about managing resources. So, Egg Shen here again. Come on, game, spawn some energy. You also need a potion bottle. Now, I get fed up here and start using his magic attack. I should point out, though, that um, the controls for this. If with five button pressed, you can do up, right, or down for a normal attack, up for high attack, right for mid attack, down for low attack, and if you have a if you have a weapon or magic, it's fire and left, or fire and left and up for a high attack, fire left and down for a low attack, fire and left for a mid attack. And I'm, that's what I'm doing here with Egg Shen. I'm using his magic up here, which you've got to be very careful. We need to save Egg Shen's magic to kill the final villain, Lo Pan, in a little bit. Come on, so go back to Egg Shen. Come on, game, spawn us something. Oh, God. Cool. Egg Shen here. Uh, health is really low now. These guys are really irritating. Just abusing the scroll here. At least it does scroll, it's not a single screen affair. But, uh. Why does Jack Burton always jump in the air when he fires, fires his gun as well? It looks kind of odd. Come on, game, spawn the item! God, I was getting really frustrated playing this at this point. I'm going to be careful because Egg Shen's going to run out of his uh, magic and we're going to need it. Oh my god, game. Go. Come on. There we go. It's, it's, at least it spawned the uh, potion bottle. Oh, I can see some food there ahead. There we go. Now it's just uh, Wang we need to worry about here. His energy is getting quite low. Now, when we come to defeating Lo Pan, the manual says that you need the combined powers of all three with the weapons magic, and he will need to be shot, zapped, and ran through a number of times to finally kill him once and for all. This is actually slightly wrong. Um, Wang's sword, we're playing as Wang at the moment here, uh, his sword seems to have no effect on a low pan and doesn't seem to connect. So when we get to low pan, uh, only use Jack Burton or Egg Shen. But it's with Jack, it's really hard to shoot low pan because he's floating in the air in a cloud, as you'll see shortly, and you can't shoot any higher than basically like shoulder height. So often his bullets will just completely miss him over and over, which is really annoying. But use Jack Burton on the low pan when we get to him uh, until Jack's energy is really low or um, he runs out of bullets. And then finish off low pan with Egg Shen's magic. But keep pushing to the left so you're ready for when the girls appear. All you need to do, guys, then is basically defeat low, keep killing low pan, and he'll, he'll respawn and wait for the, uh, the two girlfriends to appear and then move into them, and the game is beat basically. Mm. But overall guys, if I was going to give this a review score, 
initially I thought of this would be like a 3 out of 10. It's actually kind of playable. I like the concept of like the three different characters with you at all times and you can switch between them in a side scrolling beat em up. That's a really kind of novel idea, but it hasn't really been explored very well or play tested properly. And I think that basically they ran out of time and it just had to do make do with what they had. So the concept probably wasn't explored to its fullest and the combat is just really poor. I mean, you just move in and keep punching and kicking or whatever. Um, but the resource management kind of thing of switching between characters and using their weapons and then switching back and forth is quite cool. I kind of appreciate the game a little bit more, but it is still terrible. I'm going to be pretty generous by giving this a five and a half out of ten because as I played this more and got further into the game and it got a little bit more intense and I was trying to switch between characters and get their health restored and pick up items for them, I started to enjoy it a bit, but it is monotonous, it is tedious, it is poor, it's a really crap film license, but it's not the worst film license ever. I think Back to the Future Part 1 from Activision and Electric Dreams in the, in the same year probably is, is worse than this one. Again, that was had a good, quite a good concept for the game, just poorly executed. And again, maybe it was a lack of time, resources, and pushing the game out to uh, coincide with the film's release or something like that. That meant that it was kind of felt like an unfinished game. Now Jack's courage here runs out pretty quickly, so pick up the uh, potion bottles for Jack. And he's going to need all the strength he can. Um, oh yes, Egg needs to pick up his magic bag there. So what I was doing there, I used Egg Shen briefly because I know I knew I'd use his magic quite a bit about what a few minutes ago, and that he needs all the magic possible to defeat um, Low Pan shortly. So I, I switched to Egg Shen there, used his magic up, so we could get another pickup, so we could have a full. Demon, six demon magic bag ready for low pan and then we'll carry on with Jack here maybe what have been a good idea actually from this point on because here's the I think the three storms from the movie and uh, the three henchmen of low pan basically and the inspiration for Raiden in Mortal Kombat appear uh, maybe I should have used uh, Wang here with his sword just to get through this section use up his strength and weapon so instead, I'm going to use uh, Jack Burton's gun, which um, obviously has a long range attack. Wang's sword can only go like sort of a short distance anyway. And plus, we need to refill um, Jack Burton's gun for the fight with Low Pang. Oh God! Ah! Really? Oh, really died there. There's a gun pickup. We need an energy pickup soon. Oh, this is the end of the the third level. Defeat this guy without losing any energy. Oh. And we're about to about to face um, David Lopan. <laughs> Here we go. Coming to the final section. There, I'm just going to go back and forth, try and get a health pick up for uh, Jack. But just remember what old Jack Burton does when the earthquakes and the poison arrows fall from the sky and the pillars of heaven shake. Yeah, Jack Burton just looks at a big old storm right square in the eye and says, Give me your best shot, pal. I can take it. Mmm, some very quotable lines from the movie. Come on, we just need a health pickup. He's about to die, Jack, as well. Got really stressed. Oh, there's a health pickup. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Screw it. He's gone. And there's David Lopan. We just got to get to the health here. Oh, we're good. We're good. Now shooting uh, David Lopan. Um, it's a real problem as I mentioned earlier because he's floating on a cloud and Jack's gun doesn't shoot higher than uh, like shoulder height so what you need to do um, is just wait for David Lopan to go past you if he can or move right off the screen and make him respawn on you 
Look, you can see it's so hard to hit him with the bloody gun. It's so annoying. Oh, and there's such a lag from shooting the bullet. <laughs> you can see the animation of the gun firing animation and nothing happening. There you go. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Get him to go past you. And he seems to float down. Oh, God. Seems to float down. Uh, and then eventually we can get to him. Uh. I keep using uh, Jack Burton and his gun until the gun runs out. But keep pushing left, as far left as you can go. Right, now time to switch to Egg Shen. And uh, we're gonna keep, I think they're as far left as we can go now. And you if you defeat low pan a number of times the girls will appear and you just need to move into them to rescue them and the game is won and low pan is defeated come on there you go and that is the game completed you just get a game over screen of David Lopan still floating there but there's the girls have appeared and we've rescued them and that is the game completed it's all in the reflexes <laughs> well I'm a reasonable guy but I've experienced some very unreasonable things in this game so it's a five and a half out of ten for me guys for, for this game I think that's pretty, re that's pretty generous so there we go guys just a reminder that when some wild-eyed, eight-foot-tall maniac grabs your neck, taps the back of your favourite head up against the barroom wall, and he looks at you crooked in the eye and asks you if you paid your dues, you just stare that big sucker right back in the eye, and you remember what old Zypho says at a time like that. Have you paid your dues, Zypho? Yes, sir. I've long played both Big Trouble in Little China and Bridget. Ha! So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that, if you did please click a like below, leave a comment and also subscribe if you haven't already, and over that way there's another video for you to check out, Zypho out.